Hey my friends, welcome back to a new video. Today we will be talking about how to align yourself, your energy with the path that you are walking on in order to achieve the wanting results, to manifest what you want. Because there, there are things many people want to change in their lives and it's all okay. You all deserve that. So... When I'm going through comments, many times I see people which are writing, well, I tried certain things, but nothing happened. I, I completely feel stuck. But then I receive so many beautiful messages of people which are saying that their lives has completely changed. So many beautiful messages. And there are people who became artists. I, I received messages from people. Some people were... Like someone was a doctor and that person decided that her whole childhood she was dreaming about being an artist and then she became a doctor because her parents want that for her. There's many people which are doing something because their parents told them to do something. But what we truly want is something completely else usually when we were kids we knew exactly what we want you know we were daydreaming we were following our hearts we were playing around but then parents told us we need to get real we need to get real because with playing you can't make money to survive right we've heard that we've heard that if you know, if we will be constantly joyful, people will not be taking us seriously. So we need to get more serious and, and so on. But the same parents, the same people never truly found the greater meaning in their lives, right? The, the greater beauty in, in all of that. Because they needed to get so real that they forgot about the magic of life. So people are finding out that magic again. It's all happening. It's beginning right now. More and more people are, are beginning to understand what is the magic of life. The magic of life is when we learn to be more present. And when we learn to use our minds as the instrument which can play the melody of the destiny. <laughs> so what it means to play the melody of the destiny? You know, when we learn to use our minds, maybe we could appreciate a little bit this place. I've just found it. I love, I, I love that green color right there. And we have the sun. We have the sun right here. It's actually the morning sun. What is the melody of the destiny? It's when you start using your mind for designing your life. Not for complaining about how bad your life is how bad certain things are, how everything is not going the way it should go, and so on. But you rather start using your mind for observing the things from which you can learn, from reading the books which can inspire you, from watching, for watching videos which can uplift you, or you can learn something from it. You can become a greater observer in life, a greater observer is not judging what is good and what is bad. But it is, a greater observer is looking on everything as a part of the whole. Wholeness. When we say everything as a part of the whole, we always know if there's something bad happened, there's always also something good that is happening right now. Maybe it was not presented the same as the bad thing, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. When there are negative situations, there are equally positive situations. That's what we were talking in the previous video. 
That's why I'm never scared when something um, negative happen or happens. Because I know that also something beautiful is happening at the same time and and if I will lose something, I know that I will gain something new as well. If nothing else, a greater understanding. That's lesson. And truly at the end of our lives, what will truly stay with us are lessons, which we are carrying with us deeply within our souls. So what is beginning right now is a completely new stage of life for many people because many people <laughs> many people are gaining the, that understanding many people are shifting their belief system because we've been programmed that we need certain things in order to be happy we've been programmed that we need to follow the money not follow our hearts We've been programmed that we need to work really hard in order to achieve something. We've been programmed that we need to please people in order to gain, gain something in return. We've been programmed all of that. But what is really, really the only truth is just the opposite of that. Because without judgment we can observe people and we can see many people have seems like they have everything they need but they are not happy right many people are working really really hard but they are not happy why is that because we've been not programmed to be happy we've been programmed to follow something so we would never search happiness as long as we are following something, we can't be happy. So the point is not to follow anything but your heart. The point is not to follow anything but your heart. Once we start following our hearts, we don't need nothing outside of us to tell us what we need to do. Because we will always know what to do. We will be in tune with our intuition with our inner intelligence. And that's what is happening right now. So the whole universe is aligned with you. <clears throat> the whole universe is aligned with you. And you know what? When you know what you want, the whole universe conspires to make it happen for you. Always. But then sometimes people say, well, I know exactly what I want, but my life is not changing. My life is not changing. Why is that? Sometimes I see that in comments. So why your life is not changing? Because your belief system, your stories in your, in your mind are not supporting that change. Even that statement, my life is not changing is already determining your life. How can you be open for changes if you believe that your life is not changing? Your life is always changing, my friends. Your life is always changing. If nothing else, you're getting older or wiser every single moment. <laughs> the question is, are you getting older or wiser? That's the great question, right? <laughs> Life is always changing, because that's the law of life. Everything is constantly moving, and with movement comes changes. If we are able to see the changes that are happening, we will always stay open for new changes, greater changes. If the nature is changing, look, you, you can see that tree. That tree will never be the same as it is right now. That tree will never be the same as it is right now. Even tomorrow, if we would put it under, under the microscope, it would be changed on the atomic level, maybe the molecules, 
it would change something will change the root system you know everything is changing but because those changes are so small that we can't see it with our eyes most people don't believe that they are happening so once they be, be once they become bigger they still don't see them that's why people feel victims of life that's why people feel like they are victims of life but once we become open for changes the days are changing your body is changing your mind is changing we are not limited anymore we are not in the box anymore if we are open for changes if we understand that everything is changing then my life is changing as well let's see what is new today let's see what is new today which is present and we go outside for the walk and we see oh here's something new oh here's something new oh Oh, here's something new and what happens, we become more present. That's actually a truly magical thing that happens. We become more present. Now we see the changes. That's how to align with your path, align with your mission. Become more present. Every single day observe the changes and believe that your life is changing as well. If life is like, you know, ocean waves, we can't change the waves, right? The waves are flowing the way they are flowing, but we can change the direction into which we are going. <laughs> How beautiful is that? Waves are the way they are. Life is the way it is circumstances are the way they are but you can change the direction in which you are going on that new direction the new path you will experience new things how to do that rather than complaining rather than judging just observe and decide what you don't want to experience anymore at the first place so we can stop thinking about it you know, our brains don't know the difference between positive and negative. I've learned that during sports. I'm coming from extreme sport, mountain biking, the, the freestyle mountain biking. But here and there, I'm also ride, riding in the forest. You know, it's called uh, downhill or enduro mountain biking. And in that sport, you're riding on the on the trail it's usually um, it is usually going uh, through the forest in the middle of you know there's the track and around the track are the trees but if you want to you know make it safe you're focused on the track you're focused on the focused on the trail therefore you're following the trail so you can't crash into the tree that's life my friends why it is important if you're constantly focusing onto the problems you're constantly crashing yourself into the problems if you're focusing on what is missing you're constantly crashing into what is missing and you see oh oh my life is so bad that's when I say our brains don't know the difference between positive and negative. You give it direction and that's what you see, that's what you experience. This is so important to understand because once we truly understand that, we will only focus on what we want to experience. And we will see more of that. And we will receive more of that. <laughs> so many people right now are getting to understand it and what's the byproduct many people are getting happier and happier because people are now focusing on happiness even during that um, that uh, pandemic and and all of that 
People are focusing on happiness now, not because we are denying, <laughs> I'm sorry, denying what is happening, not because we are ignoring things, but because if we want to bring more beauty to the world, we need to be happier versions of ourselves, right? We need to be happier, more positive, and it's not forced positive thinking. It's shifting our focus and disciplining our minds to see what we want so we can get there, so we can bring more of that to the world. That's the magic. And it is beginning for you as well. If you are following that process, it is beginning for you as well. So, when you get distracted, from that process, always remember that your brain is following your attention. Whatever you will choose to see is what you will experience. And the universe is always supporting you in whatever you choose to experience. Always. So whatever you will choose, that's what you will experience. Maybe not in the first days or first weeks or first months or first years. But eventually, what we're all also learning is how to be consistent. If we got, want to get healthier, happier, more abundant, we need to be consistent with the work, right? We need to be consistent. We need to be determined. We need to be strong because here and there will be challenges, like for the nature, there are challenges, there's wind, there's sometimes strong rain, there's sometimes fire in the forest. Those are challenges for the nature, but that's how the nature is getting stronger. If we are constantly hiding from the challenges, we are getting weaker and weaker. We need to go straight into challenges if we want to get stronger. So never be afraid to face your challenges because they are in your life for a reason. They are not curses, they are blessings. So my friends, this is it for today. I'm sending you all love, blessings and lots of power. I hope you've enjoyed today's beautiful nature and let me know if you like those kind of videos. Usually I'm sharing with you my art, but let me know about it. Maybe we can make more of it as well. So this is it. One love. <laughs>